Sergeant Rhodes, Private Skinny, checking in for the Baja Hunt Club. We're sitting here on a beautiful Friday afternoon, October 25th. It's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We've been here since Wednesday night. We, we uh, got our camp set up and uh, had a really nice evening that night. Next morning, beautiful morning, we went coyote hunting. Uh, in the morning, took uh, three stands, no luck. Uh, started to rain on our boat ride back and it rained for the next three or four hours. So uh, we got wet coming across the water and uh, dried our stuff out. We got a really nice campsite set up here. We'll give you a little preview here in a bit. Went out again last night after the rain stopped, uh, coyote hunting three different stands in a completely different area of the uh, Monroe Lake, uh, Monroe Reservoir State Park. No luck uh, last night either. So a little bit chilly last night, got down to about 30 degrees, but we got electricity in the tent and um, so we had a little heater going, kept us warm. Went out this morning crappie fishing. We didn't get out till about 10 o'clock. Again, beautiful day. I don't know if you can see behind us the tree line, uh, but it's just uh, it's spectacular here. It's about 50 degrees right now. Sunshine is hot. Is it hot? Yeah, it's hot. It's hot. We're sitting here in t-shirts, 50 degree weather, um, and uh, listening to some country music, having a little beverage in the solo cup. I'll let you guess what's in it. Uh, we're, uh, we're planning our day for tomorrow. Tomorrow, October 26th, Saturday, is opening day for waterfowl in the central zone of Indiana. So we picked out a little spot in uh, Middle Fork, the waterfowl resting area. Uh, we're going to boat out to that at about 5 o'clock in the a.m. We're going to take our breakfast out, have a little breakfast in the stand uh, we, as we wait for the sun to come up. So uh, wish us luck. And uh, we'll check in and hopefully tomorrow we'll have a little uh, little feather to show you. So this is uh, Sergeant Rhodes, Private Skinny, for the Baja Hunt Club, checking out. Sergeant Rhodes, checking in for the Baja Hunt Club. We're sitting here on beautiful Lake Monroe down in Bloomington, Indiana. It is the uh, sunset hour on Saturday, October 26th. Had some pretty good luck today. A lot of birds came in on us this morning. Unfortunately, we didn't have the blind set up properly and we had a lot of flares. So just out of shooting range, but we were able to bag uh, two ducks. Private Skinny, first shot in the morning, knocked down a, a, a female hen, Woody. I followed up a little bit later with a Drake Mallard. So we put some meat on the table today. A uh, lot of birds down here, unfortunately, or fortunately for us, not a lot of hunters. So uh, it's us and one other group that's about mm, half a mile away. So a uh, lot of woodies uh, this time of the year. I've seen a few mallards, but they're uh, traveling high. They're moving through, so we figure they're, uh, they're, they're probably not local ducks. Uh, but there are definitely a lot of woodies here to be taken. So we're gonna settle in here. We got about a half hour left of shooting. Wish us luck. Uh, we changed our blind setup a little bit and uh, hopefully we'll have some come in on us and uh, um, knock down a couple more birds before the evening's over. So this is Sergeant Rhodes for Private Skinny and the Baja Hunt Club checking out. Sergeant Rhodes checking in for the Baja Hunt Club. That would give you a lake view angle of our blind. If you can see way out there on that point, we got a few decoys sitting out there. You can't see around the corner, but we got a few over there behind Private Skinny. And um, we got a pretty good setup here. So, what they've been doing is coming around these points here and here, and they've been coming back in here and landing in this little cove. So uh, hopefully we'll get a little action here tonight before the sun goes down and before the uh, the hour closes out. So we got a few more minutes before uh, before the Baja Hunt Club is going to have to check out. Sergeant Rhodes for Private Skinny and the Baja Hunt Club checking out. All right. Sergeant Roach here for Baja Hunt Club. Wanted to share a piece of new equipment, a piece of arsenal that we got for the club. It's a pretty, uh, pretty neat little unit here. We're gonna use it 
folds up nice and compact. I'll show you how it sets up in just a few seconds. show you what she looks like here once we get her all loaded up. We'll be able to tote this down to the lake with all of our decoys and gear. This is Sergeant Rhodes for Baja Hunt Club, checking out. All right, Sergeant Marty, Baja Hunt Club, checking in. Let me see, uh, let's show you what we got set up here. So we got uh, a little bit of our equipment in the, in the, uh, the cart. Uh, we got our camo box, a little extra camo. You can see in here, we got our gas tank. Uh, we got our sandbags that hold down our, our flame frame on our boat line. Uh, we got our decoy box, a couple of seat cushions, and then tomorrow morning we're going to um, haul our decoys down. Uh, this is a box or a bag of four goose, full size goose decoys. Uh, we've got two bags of those and a bag of uh, duck decoys uh, that are all going to sit on here, make our trip down, which is about 100 yards to the lake pretty easy so we're looking forward to having a, a good opening day tomorrow so uh for sergeant uh, for private skinny running the camera this is sergeant Rhodes for baja hunt club check it out check it in for the baja hunt club this is sergeant Rhodes with private skinny from beautiful lake monroe in monroe county indiana this is sunday october 27th just happens to be birthday for Private Skinny, so a big shout out. Happy birthday to Private Skinny from the Baja Hunt Club. We're wrapping up a four day fin, fur, and feather expedition, and we just had an awesome time. Mm -hmm. we, uh, we, spent, uh, we spent the nights in a tent, and our temperature ranged from 29 degrees to what we're experiencing today, a beautiful 64 degrees. So that's about a 35 degree difference in temperature from day to day or night to night to day. Uh, on Thursday, we got here, uh, we did a little coyote hunting. Uh, we did three stands in the morning, three stands in the evening. Unfortunately, uh, we didn't see any or, uh, or even hear any. Actually, we heard a lot at night, didn't we? We heard a lot at night. So uh, it, it got cold that day. It was uh, down at the uh, low 30s when we went out coyote and it was actually spitting snow. So, uh, so we had a good time. Uh, on Friday, we went fishing, attempted to find some crappie, and we were all over this lake. All over. All over this lake. And uh, we just couldn't find a crappie. We were shallow, we were deep, we were in cover, we were on rock beds, no fish. No fish. no fish. But we had a good time because when we were fishing, it was a day like today. And as you can see, it's peak season in Indiana for fall colors. Check out the, the background if you haven't already. Uh, this is what Private Skinny refers to as the beach. This is his idea of the beach. He spent a lot of his free time here skipping rocks and uh, climbing whatever tree he could find. You'll notice that fallen tree to the right of his head behind us. He was all over that. Uh-huh. So that's what Private Skinny spends his time doing. Saturday morning was opening day in Indiana Central Zone for waterfowl. We were out there at sunrise. And I'll tell you, Private Skinny fixed breakfast every day for us. Uh, we actually had some really good hamburgers uh, on, the, on the iron skillet that Private Skinny took care of. I think that was uh, Thursday night. Yeah. Thursday night we had some really good hamburgers. But he fired up the uh, the old iron skillets this weekend and he took care of us with uh, with mostly breakfast and, and he filled in when I was a little busy cleaning up camp. Uh, we had a pretty good morning. 
on uh, on opening day, we saw a lot of ducks. A lot. A, a lot of ducks. A lot of woodies. So late October, central zone, hunt the marshes, go for the woodies. Uh, we were on open water. We did see a lot of birds, but uh, we probably would have done a little better uh, if, uh, if we'd been in the marshes. We had our shots. Yeah. We had our shots. We could have limited out, uh, but we were a little conservative. This is Private Skinny's uh, opening opening weekend. Uh, unfortunately, uh, he's used to shooting 20 gauge, and Sergeant Rhodes forgot the uh, the 20 gauge shotgun shell steel shot, and there was no steel shot to be found in Bloomington, Indiana. So uh, Private Skinny stepped up, took on the heavy artillery, handled the 12 gauge. First shot of the morning, down the wood, slayed a wood. Just made him tumble into the water. Uh, that was a pretty good shot. I was very proud of him. Uh, on the way back, weather turned on us, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It got a little. Actually, it got real choppy. And wet. And wet. We were coming across the big part of the lake here on the on on your left, and uh, that uh, that water was uh, about two to four foot swells, and uh, we actually took on some some water on the boat, uh, a, lot and water. a lot of water. Uh, it was a bit scary. So uh, luckily, the Waukita and the Johnson 50, the 1974 Waukita, and the 1979 Johnson 50 brought us back home. And uh, so we, we spent the rest of the afternoon drying off. And uh, we had actually, uh, we, we had a lot of, we had a lot of over the bow splashing. Yeah, a lot. A lot, a lot. We got wet, so uh, so that was quite an adventure coming back on that. Uh, this morning, back out at it again. Unfortunately, we weren't able to hunt the same restricted area as we were yesterday. They closed that today, so uh, we thought we had a good spot, but unfortunately, we didn't see any ducks. And I think a lot of it had to do with uh, the fog. It was real foggy. Real foggy. Real foggy. Could have swam in it. He could have swam in it. And it took us a while to get back because of the fog. Uh, but uh, again, beautiful sunrise. And once the uh, the sun burnt the fog off, as again, you can see behind us, just a beautiful day. Uh, we had great food. Like I said, Private Skinny took care of breakfast for us. Uh, we had hobo pies one night. We had uh, fried fish uh, last night. Really good fried fish. That was uh, that was left over from this spring when Private, uh, Private Skinny and I Went down to Texas and, and hauled in about uh, 15 hybrids and about 70 plus white bass. So we had some good fish last night in the iron skillet. Uh, and then we, uh, like I said, we slept in the tent. We uh, we invested in a couple nice cots this year and they were real comfortable. Real comfortable. Real comfortable. So uh, uh, we'll, uh, we'll advise anyone who's sleeping in the tent in the cold, get up off the ground case it rains which it did and uh, keep yourself warm and dry so uh, we had a really good time private skinny you want to share with us uh, maybe what your most memorable moment was well, it was probably the uh, part when the ducks just were flying everywhere flying everywhere those woodies there was we saw probably a hundred plus woodies they were just it was chaos wasn't it they were everywhere it was good chaos, it was good chaos. So uh, well, it was a good experience on the opening morning. So you, uh, Private Skin got the opportunity to see how, how birds really move. So anything else you want to share? What was your second most, most memorable minute? Well, it was probably just finding the beach. one just skipping rocks. Just, it's awesome. Private Skin likes to skip rocks. He likes to skip rocks. He likes to climb trees. He likes to play in the fire. Did you have a good time this weekend? Yeah. Just a good time? Great time. We had a great time this weekend. So, as we wrap it up, we're heading back home for Private Skinny. This is Sergeant Rhodes from Baja Hunt Club. Checking out.